Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. Today we're looking at the Great Heartland Hauling Company. This is a 2016 game from Greater Than Games, ages 13 and up. Two to four players, 30 to 45 minutes. Now I've heard good things about this and it is a card and cubes game. So while well, technically probably a board game, could also be called a card game. So I'll put it in both playlists most likely. So let's take a look at this and see what the contents look like. This one retails for about 20 bucks, which I think is a bit overpriced for most games this size. This is a this fit in your coat pocket, but let's, let's check it out. Maybe it's worth the money. All right. So here's our rule book. Oh, it looks pretty straightforward. Colorful. I like that. Does it give you a contents list? It does. It gives you a components list. I love that people started doing this. This makes everybody's life so much easier. So we're going to have 46 freight bill cards, 19 fuel cards, 12 double-sided location cards, one distribution center card, eight score card slash cargo cards, two of each color, orange, blue, white, and natural, four wooden score trackers, four wooden semis, 60 wooden cargo crate cubes it looks like 15 of each you've got green soybeans yellow corn black cattle and pink pigs then there's also four variant cards or reference cards so yeah pretty straightforward good quality paper nice and glossy i like that staple that's a big deal to me because it makes it look like they're putting some effort in all right, there's some advanced rules here I don't really care about. They give you little baggies for the pieces. I like that. Here's our cubes that we were just told about. These are just standard wooden cubes, it looks like, painted. You know, you've got your a hideous yellow, gold color, uh, pink, black, and green. So exactly what they told you. So you get a nice bag of those. Here's your trucks. Let's take a look at these. Those are four cubes. These are slightly larger from the look of it. Just wooden cubes. Pretty easy to replace, I think. Then we've got our four trucks. We've got white. These are very specific looking, so if one of these is missing, it might be fairly difficult to replace it without buying another copy of the game. Then we've got natural and blue and finally orange. So pretty standard colors. I think they were just lazy and cutting corners with the natural one, but still looks cool. All right, so those are pretty standardized um, as far as the types of pieces. You, you got your movers, that sort of thing. Then we've got our cards. There's two decks here. The inside's pretty generic looking. Nothing underneath. So we'll take a look at the cards next. All right, we'll start out with this deck. Let's see what we've got here. All right, that's a big deck. They're a little stiff. That's what the back of the cards look like. Yeah, they, these all have the same back. So let's see what we've got here. Is that one card? Yeah, that's really thick. All right. The image looks like 1998 desktop. But yeah, card quality is real thick. I don't know where that hose is going because it's not connected to anything down there. Six of those. Eight 
pink pigs. We've got eight of these cow cards. Now we've got corn. Fifteen of the corn cards with the yellow background. Then we've got soybeans on green. And lastly, so we've got 15 of the green soybean cards. All right, the cards are nice and thick. They are a little stiff at first though. I don't know if that's because of the coating they're using or what, but they're really nice thickness. Very nice in fact. So let's get those out of the way. And we will take a look at our other deck and see what we've got here. All right, looks like this deck is a mix of different cards. So the first ones we'll look at are the truck stop cards. And see what these look like. Okay, that's all those. They are all unique. And then the last two cards are descriptions of what those mean, apparently, and the expansion rules. So it's a built in expansion on the game. That's kind of cool. And these have the same back. It says inspansion instead of expansion because it's included which is okay uh, we'll just roll with that how's that all right then we've got some that have the regular backing and let's see what these look like This should be two of each color. All right, so pretty standard. Uh, looks like they're all the same as far as the layouts. They're just different colors for each vehicle. Next we have four cards that are all identical. We've got the alternate board layout on one side and on the other side is the order of play. 
and you get four of those. So pretty straightforward. Now we have the destination cards. These are two sided and they appear to be the exact same on both sides. So we only need to look at the one side it looks like. I'll keep it out for variation though as we go. Oh yeah, there's some difference. Okay. So this one's the same on both sides. This one you'll see has a square here. But when you flip it over, it does not have that square. So we'll have to look at both sides. The last one is Bedford Falls. All right, the remaining cards have this on the back like the other ones did. And it is slightly different. There's a blue, or I'm sorry, a green gas pump with a three on it. We got three of those, then we have a yellow one with a two. We have six of those, and then we've got four more of the red ones with the one on top. So that's all of the cards. Cards are actually really nice quality, like I said, good thickness. Uh, I don't know if the coating is going to hold up or not over time, but these are really nice quality cards. Pretty impressive. They're much thicker than you usually find with trading card games. All right, that's what's inside the Great Heartland Hauling Company. Two to four players, ages 13 and up. Takes about half hour to 45 minutes. Looks like a pretty cool game. Could be a lot of fun. The little expansion thing looks pretty cool too. 
overall, I'd say this is definitely worth looking at. I think it could be a lot of fun for older kids, teenagers, obviously. And uh, more diehard gamers might get something out of this. It's got kind of that feel. So I think that there's going to be something for everyone, a little bit of crossover. If you've got kids that are teenagers that you want to play with you or get them into gaming in general, this might be a good way to do it. It looks like a pretty straightforward system. So I'd be interested to check it out and see how it goes. I don't know if it's worth 20 bucks. I doubt it. But 10 or 15 seems pretty reasonable. There's some really nice quality pieces in here. Good quality wooden trucks and, and the tokens. And of course the cards are real nice quality. I might want to sleeve those anyway just in case because I'm overly paranoid about that. But they are very nice. And for a game from 2016, it really looks high quality. So the fact that the piece is wooden and the cards are good thickness tells me that they tried really hard to make this good quality game. And it looks pretty fun. So I'm willing to give it a chance. And I would say the pieces are definitely high end. So that being said, we've seen what's in the box. I'll give you my initial impressions on it. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing so you don't miss future reviews and unboxings. If you want to help the channel in other ways, links are in the description and on the about page. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.